This is the worst mother on YouTube. In fact, she's so bad. She's now been arrested. I wanted to show you guys in today's video that Ruby Frank has always been this way. She's always been an abusive mother. But if you don't know the recent situation on how she's been arrested, you can watch my video up here or you can watch it in the description. Might be there actually, just one or the other. But in case you can't be bothered, here's a quick little recap. Ruby Frank and her friend, Jordi Hildebrandt, have both been arrested on two counts of child abuse. And the ironic thing is, these two specimens had a joint YouTube channel called Connections. Ready for this? Where they give desperate mothers advice. These two people give advice on how to look after children. Well, I, I think you'll find in this video that these people really shouldn't be running that sort of channel. But they were both arrested after two of Ruby Frank's kids went over to their neighbor's house and knocked on the door and begged for food and water. And they had duct tape around their ankles and wrists. What the f*** is going on? This is like a horror show, like a horror movie. Straight out of a book that's been written by Stephen King. Today we're just going to focus on looking at the history of Ruby Frank and how she's always been this kind of mother. I've got some great videos here to show you where she's been a complete and utter piece of shit. So, let's take a look at these. If you cut one more thing in my house, <laughs> I'm going to take the scissors, look at me, and I'm gonna cut its head off. What a freak! Oh, so freak! So what are you gonna do? How is this normal? Just how is this normal? Someone please answer me. How is this normal exactly? So you better not cut anything else up in the house, or else Mr. Fluffy Snuffles gets it. That's right. I will kill your doll. <laughs> but yes, everyone, that's right. Ruby Frank is threatening her three, four-year-old daughter to cut her doll's head off because she was doing what children do. Being absolute f***ing cucks. Children will be children, all right? They're assholes sometimes, but you have to remember something. They've just come into the world. They're still learning. You have about 30, 40 years experience on them, and that's how you're treating them. That's how you're teaching them. You can't do this, my friend, or your dolls will die. I'm only gonna say it one more time, and then you're gonna lose the privilege to eat dinner. What is it with these threats? If you do it one more time, you're not eating dinner, just saying, you're losing the privilege. This is is crazy. You're losing the privilege to eat dinner. I mean, oh, fuck. You know, she's not eating dinner tonight, you know? You've done something naughty? Boom, you, you can, can starve. starve. Are we really surprised that she's in jail now? Or whatever she is, being arrested? No bail, of course, so no one can bail her out. I'd say she probably belongs there with the stuff that she's done to her children. I mean, it's absolutely abysmal. Like, there's ways to go about teaching your kids, and this just is not it, my friend. This is not it. My bedroom was taken away for seven months, and then you give it back like a couple weeks ago. I don't think our viewers know that. You've been sleeping on a beanbag. Oh, slept up, did he? Bean 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 <laughs> and they gave my room back like two weeks ago. Oh, I'll give yes. you the reason why I lost my bedroom. I think so. I think this is the reason. At least this is the reason that's been in my head. It's pretty funny, but now that I look back, I mean, it's pretty depressing. No, we never told our viewers. That I woke Russell up at 2 in the morning and told him that we're going to Disneyland and he has to pack. <laughs> <laughs> and he got up and made his bed all neatly and then packed all his clothes in a suitcase. And then he walked out the door and I'm like, Russell, and he's like, what? And he's all happy. <laughs> has his sunglasses on. Okay, so Chad woke up one of his siblings when it was 2 o'clock in the morning and pretended to him that he's going to Disneyland. And for that, Chad lost his bedroom. His bedroom, he has not anywhere to sleep for seven months. He's had to sleep in a beanbag downstairs. All right. And speaking from personal experience, I, <laughs> I've actually done this. I have woken up my cousin. Uh, I think it was like half past four in the morning when I was like younger. And I said to my cousin, oh yeah, by the way, just let you know, we are going to Disneyland. Like I've done this, you know, because Disneyland is that kind of place where all children want to go, you know. Did I have my bedroom taken away from me? No, I had nothing like that. What I actually had was GET BACK IN BED! GET OUT! That's, that's what, that's what I had basically. And that was it. That was it. My mum and dad screamed at me. Do you think it's funny because... And then I walk out and... If you think it's funny then you... That was seven months ago. Maybe you need longer without a bedroom. It... No. It was not funny. <laughs> <laughs> the fear instilled into these children. Honestly, they are afraid of Ruby Frank. I mean, I would be too, to be honest. I would never leave my bedroom. I'd cower in there. Oh, of course, I don't have a bedroom. They took it away from me. Abby, we took the phone away from Abby um, in November. And, and you why. may you may never get the phone back. Probably not. No, I have no friends. You can so his sister lost her phone as well. 
Why is this woman taking everything away from her children? Like, they're gonna grow up and they're just gonna be like, they're gonna be very needy for everything because they've had everything taken away from them. Call your friends. No, like, I don't have friends. I don't have friends either. I literally, like, told my friend I'm not hanging out with them anymore. Because, because they're really They say pretty people. messed up stuff. Wait, I don't even know where they live. <laughs> They're pretty far away. So? Uh, I know I look sweaty, right? But it is 43 degrees Celsius in this room. It's 30 outside, it's 40 in here because of the heat of the computer. Enough of that. But the kids have said now that they don't have any friends and Ruby doesn't say anything. She just pans the camera to the kids and be like, yeah, tell the whole world how you don't have any friends. It's kind of humiliating. She just lets her kids say this on the internet. Doesn't respond to them in any way on camera being like, no, don't worry. We're gonna help you find friends we're, You know, don't worry. We're gonna send you to some group activities to try and make some friends. No, no, no She looks like she does not give a flying fuck about anything But it's not only that I feel like they don't have friends because of their mother's strict rules So so far what you've done to your children you have starved them from the privilege to eat you have threatened to cut one of your child's dolls heads off and also you control them so much, and you're so strict with them that they can't have any friends. What a life for a child. To tell you this, honey, but unless you find a friend who's willing to share some of their food with you, I don't, I don't think you're going to be able to eat. But if you're not responsible for your lunch and your lunch money, that's the natural consequence. And I'm really sorry you're learning this the hard way. I will have a wonderful, yummy snack. I'm sorry to share this with you, but if you my very, very young child hasn't been responsible enough to make your own food and take it to school with you. I'm just sorry, but you're gonna have to starve. First of all, he is very young. How are you gonna say that your child is responsible for taking pack lunch to school? I forgot my pack lunch many times and my mum's come to school and dropped me off a new pack lunch. Like, my mum used to make my pack lunches, you know, and she used to pack my bag before I went to school because that's what a normal mother does. But no, of course, if you're in Ruby Frank's world, then uh, you're responsible for everything. You get your rooms taken away from you and you have to starve, basically. And just to let you know, if you forget your lunch, she's not coming to save you. We, we are going to a movie, so go get on your shoes. Yes, a movie! Yeah! Ah! What is it? What? Does it even matter? If someone asked me if I wanted to go to a movie, I wouldn't ask, what is it? Run and get your shoes or you're going to not go. Hurry! Everyone run! Hey, this is Ruby. I was wondering, is Brooke available to babysit? Sorry. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. What a good idea for spring break. Shut up! Twat. So your child asking what movie they're going to see is, uh is disrespectful. Sorry, Ruby, which which planet are you from again? I think it's a very normal question to ask which movie you're going to see. Don't you, don't you think so? Like, I, f I feel like at this point, she's just doing it for the fun of it. Like, she likes to see her children sad. This is what it feels like. Comment down below if you agree with me. She loves to see her children sad. It's like she thinks to herself, oh, you know what, I just, it gets me going when I see my child just upset and sad. She, I, I love it when I feel like I'm the one in power. That I can give them happiness, but remember this, I can take it right back. That's the vibe she's given off. And she's like, she's trying to control her children's emotions. And she likes to demonstrate it very, very often. Um, I am not taking Eve, babe, Eve, unless you come and give me a huge apology. You come give me a hug and you come say you're sorry. No, again, where I can pay attention. It was not very thankful of you. I was excited and I told you to go get on your shoes and your jacket to see a movie. And you should say, Okay, and be grateful instead of, well, what movie? Well, I don't know. Let me think about it. That's not very grateful, and I'm not going to take a girl who's not grateful. If you don't want to go and see a certain movie, you don't have to go and see it. You know, you are doing something for your child here. She almost makes it seem like she's doing it for her. Like, this is all for me, by the way. Like, I'm going to watch a movie. You just got to come along with me. Oh, you're asking which movie it is? Well, fuck you then. You're not coming. You either want to do something nice for your child or you don't. If you want to do something nice for your child, it's, you know, we're going to go watch a movie and you go and take them to something that they want to see. <laughs> but the way you made it sound like is if it's all about you, so. <laughs> well done, Catherine. Her name's not Catherine, what is it? Ruby. <laughs> Catherine, <laughs> where did that come from? To leave the house clean, and my kids are literally starving. I hesitate to say this because it's gonna sound like I'm like 
a mean barbarian, but I told the kids, I said, I'm not even gonna let you eat breakfast until you get your chores done. Uh, yeah, you are a fucking barbarian. You are literally like a caveman. You are extremely weird. Haha, <laughs> you can't eat until you do chores. I swear your children are like really young. If you're talking about Chad doing his chores and then eating breakfast, I can maybe understand. Because, you know, back in the day, you did have to go and hunt for your food, so you had to do chores before you could eat. But we're in the modern times now, so everything's changed. I almost feel like as if this applied to all her children. Hello, my three-year-old daughter. Go on to clean the back garden and wash all the dishes and clean upstairs in your bedroom and then wipe down my TV stand and don't forget to wipe my toilet seat too. And then maybe, just maybe, you can eat your fucking Cheerios. This abuse has been going on a long time, ladies and gentlemen. It almost as if we could see it coming that she was going to be arrested. And there was a time, I'll find the, I'll find the photo I had just had Russell and Julie was just crying a lot and whiny and and one day I looked at her and I'm like you just stink she had like peed her pants or something and she it's just because she was being neglected because I was totally paying attention to the new baby I love how she says that like it's normal oh yeah you know I I, I gave birth to my new child Russell and uh yeah, my other child just absolutely stunk of piss, but yeah, I was just looking after my other child. Oh yeah, go on, my, my child over there, just leave you stinking and smelling of piss and shit. Yeah, just, just stay there. I've got a newborn child to look after. The responsibility as a mother is that you look after all your children, not neglect one as soon as a new one comes along. Let's say you had your fifth child. That's right, oh, leave, the, leave all the other four. Just leave them there, you know. Carry on smearing shit all over yourselves and pissing over each other. I've got a fifth child you need to look after. And also, I feel like you made the decision to have more, more children. So, it's not their burden to bear that you have to leave them covered in piss and neglect them. It's your fault. You decided to have more children. It was my motivating drive. It is my motivating drive for creating this content. I was a hugely disconnected, selfish, aggressive, neglectful mother. Entitled. Entitled. I wanted my kids to be happy, which AKA translated into, I want my kids to get off my back <laughs> because I want to do what I want to do. I want to yeah. be able to go to Target. I want to be able to shop. I want to be able to have a moment of silence where I can just think. It was all about me mm -hmm. and I made my kids responsible for that. And so I allowed them to have what they wanted. Whoa, no, whoa, 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 no, hang on a second. I, I, I feel like you were making some character development, being like, you know what, I feel like I was very neglectful and I was very entitled and selfish. Yeah, you were. But how can you be selfish and neglectful, but also give your kids everything they want? Because if you're selfish, you only care about yourself. So why would you give anything to your kids? Because you don't care about them. You only care about yourself. So how can you just give them everything they wanted? I'm a, I'm a bit confused. Well, just to let you know, firstly, you didn't give them everything they wanted. <laughs> they couldn't even have a meal on certain days. You wouldn't give them breakfast before doing chores. You offered, well not offered, demanded and stated you will take away their eating privileges. You know, <laughs> they didn't have anything they wanted. But as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, the abuse has always been there. She's not this wonderful, fantastic mother with a great family. No, you were a very selfish, narcissistic person. Quite psychopathic, if I'm honest. It's not one of these videos where, like, we can be, oh, I hope everything gets better, I hope the children get justice. It's not one of those videos, because they've already gotten justice, she's been arrested. So now we can just look back at all these videos and be like, well, I'm really happy now she's arrested. It's great, that's awesome. It's not like a really sad video. The children have got justice. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh, 